We're back guys with step number 11 of the QRC Outlaw car build today. We are going to bleed the brakes on our Spitfire chassis. Brandon Lachance, what do we gotta do to bleed, uh, bleed these brakes? Yeah, Chase, we'll, uh, first we'll go over tools required for this step. Uh, 764 Allen wrench, which is to the bleeder screw on the left front brake. A uh, quarter inch wrench, which is to the bleeder screw on the rear brake. 716 wrench, which is just the billet master cylinder cap. And then uh, we go into dot five brake fluid. These brakes are only compatible to dot five. And then we have our brake leader, leader kit. As sold separately, kit will look like this and is a simple and easy step for bleeding brakes on an outlaw cart. Perfect. All right, what's next for bleeding the brakes? All right, first we're gonna take our dot five brake fluid and we're gonna fill up the master cylinder as well as grab this nipple and put it on. So we'll take off our billet master cylinder cap. Hold it elsewhere. We'll just go ahead and fill the reservoir up. Till it's full. Kind of much, but as long as it's full, it'll help with bleeding later. And then we'll just hand tight is all you need for that nipple. And then we're ready for the bottle. All right. On to the next part of bleeding the brakes. What is it? Yeah, we'll fill up this bottle full of dot five brake fluid, and then we'll head to the car. Get any kind of waste bucket, because you'll be removing excess as we bleed it. We'll take the bottle and we'll flip it over onto the nipple. And then basically what we're doing here is we're applying pressure to the bottle as we bleed air out of this rear screw. So right now I have this bleeder screw open and I'm gonna squeeze the bottle to run fluid through the line. And as fluid's running through the line and we get a steady stream with no air, we're gonna tighten it up like so, and then I can relieve pressure from the bottle. All right, so the rear brakes are bled. Now we gotta make our way to the front here. The left front brake is next on the agenda. As in any brake system, you bleed longest line to the shortest line, so that's why we started with the rear. Now we're just gonna go ahead and simply bleed the front put the bottle on that side get our 764 salon in place easily a one-person job but sometimes a two-person job just depends so right now I have pressure applied in the bottle and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze fluid through the left front brake line and out the left front brake until I get a steady stream where I don't hear any air bubbles or anything like that Pressure is still applied on the bottle, and then I'm gonna tighten that screw up. Seems easy enough. So go ahead and take this nipple off. Fill up the master cylinder until it's topped off. And then take the billet cap. Tighten it back up. Wipe up any excess, and we're done. All right. Our outlaw car build is coming uh, along very nicely right now. Obviously, nothing visually changed there, Brandon, but we got the brakes bled. Uh, tell us about what we need to be looking for and kind of the products we've got here. Yeah, pretty simple step there. Low tools required, but a really crucial part to getting your outlaw car build. So, uh, yeah, for the extracurricular, you know, twenty-two fifty, and you get your brake leader kit and. Uh, $21.99 and you get dot five maximum brake fluid from here. And uh, basically those two simple steps keep this simple step of bleeding the brakes really easy and uh, something you could do with a one, you know, one person job and uh, on your way to getting your cart finished up. Awesome, thanks guys.